Hi, my name is Chris Hart. I am your cartooning Sherpa. I'm an author of many books on how to draw cartoons, like my newest one, which is called Learn to Draw Cartoons, and I like the subtitle the best. World's easiest cartooning book ever. So uh, anyhow, I'm gonna show you how to draw a cartoon today, and what I'm gonna show you is, there's this dog that likes my dog, Spencer. Her name is Darla, and Spencer does not like this troublemaker, but she will not be deterred. A lot of personality, and I thought it'd be good to draw a cartoon of her. So we're gonna start off with sort of a squished oval. Gives you an idea right away, it doesn't have to be perfect. And this is gonna end up being a sketch, but what's known as a tight sketch in animation circles, meaning that it looks like it's finished, sort of, but you have all the energy from the original sketch. I'll put in a little off-center neck, already give it a little bit of energy. Everything straight, and it can get a little neutral. All right, so let's put the center line here. These are just guidelines. You can erase them later. It's low on the head because we want that, that snout to be low, right there. So that just a little bump, a little hump right here where the bridge of the nose goes. And below that, this is a kind of little button nose. This is a mistake some beginners make, which is that they put the nose right next to the hump right here. You need some, some space. It gives a little distance so it looks like it's coming out. And I'll put a little smile here. We'll just start here. We'll finish though, because we want to get that, we want to get the, those eyes going. All right? So just a little bit of indication right here. Now Darla is a female, so we're going to do a caricature of the eyes. We need to caricature is a lot in cartooning, kind of exaggerate things. So we will make them very tapered here in the middle. And I'll make it go up at the ends with an eyelash. Nice thick eyelash or two. Give her a little extra, extra attitude right here. And we will, now we will uh, straighten out, flatten out the bottom of the eyes. Instead of keeping them perfectly round, that'll give her a little more attitude. You'll see it'll come in, bring that smile way up high, really squeeze that eye over here, and we'll fill this in by tucking that eyeball into the corner. Not letting it float, but just tucking it in there. Same thing on this side. Even though it's crunching down here, we still tuck it into the side. It gives her a little more energy, a little more attitude. It's purposeful. And now we will make this a little heavier on both sides. Make the eyelids a little heavier. They come down just so slightly on top of the, on top of the eyes themselves. You can add another eyelash or two. That's looking kind of good. And we'll now darken in the eyeshadow here. I bet you didn't know that dogs have eyeshadow. They do. Well, at least. Darla does. Before I go any further, and we're gonna go further, we're gonna add some shape to the head. Because we really can't add the ears yet until we know where they go, and they can't go someplace until the head is in place. So a little concave line here, and then let's carve it out here and straighten it down to the neck. That's good. So this is going to be actually the side where the cheek comes out, and this side will just be a little rounder. See that? Again, not symmetrical. So here's a little rounder. This is a little concave. And that gives her, again, what? A little more energy, a little more attitude. Okay, so we'll finish smile here by giving her a little lower lip, and it's just a shadow. Not a real lower lip, just a shadow, and a little line here, because it's called a split lip. Dogs and many other creatures have a split lip, but not all. For instance, a horse does not have a split lip, and some don't. Cats do, so you have to know which ones, and you can easily just see it on the character. So Darla, Darla means business. She is, she's got a crush on Spencer Dog, and uh, I tell you, I don't know if you can dissuade her. So again, what are we gonna do with the eyebrows? Just put them up like this, both, no, 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 no! We're going to make them asymmetrical. So this one is going to go down, kind of a little naughty look here, playfully and innocently naughty, and this one's going to go up. Now that 
gives some character, right? See that? Rather than just the same way. So let's go invade the shape of the head with your classic bow. And this is uh, used a lot with animal types because they don't have clothes to show who they are or what they are. A little bit of kind of like poodle-like squiggles. Poodles are great for this kind of thing, and here. Okay, so we have a few squiggles on all, all over the place. Not too much, not too much. And now we're going to have the ears come out and like this on both sides. But rather than just straight down, we're going to repeat this kind of idea because it's good to do repetition. So we're going to repeat the idea of a little bit of squiggles, longer squiggles, like this. And we'll give her a little collar. We don't really have to show any depth on it. It's just a decoration and a license like that. So you see that we're not hiding. Uh, we are hiding some of the ear behind the face, right? I mean, you could put this above it if you want, but you really don't want to lose those eyes. That's really the character right there. So we'll have them come behind the head. All right. Last thing, a little bit of shadow. And why is that? It's actually a technical thing because when you have a plane, like the top of the bridge of the nose coming this way at you, and another plane going up, one of them is going to be in shadow. Okay. And so that's it for today. Again, my book, Learn to Draw Cartoons, world's easiest cartooning book ever, is for sale everywhere. And I hope you pick up a copy. It is a lot of fun. I mean, it's just chock full of instructions and characters and color and a lot of, a lot of uh, text and steps to show you how to do it, just like we did today. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe. I have new videos every week. Thanks again. Bye-bye.